Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be trying a variety of vegan-friendly freezer meals. Everything you're gonna see I got either from Sprouts or from King Supers, which is a Kroger family store. So if you wanna check out any of these things, check one of those two places. And I think Target also has a pretty wide variety of frozen foods. This is Eric. If you don't Hi. Know I always forget to introduce you because I okay. take it for granted that people know who the you people are. people know me. Yeah. People know me. So let's start out first and I will put the prices on the screen as well with these Gardein freezer meals. Oh, can't see that. There's actually a, a pretty wide variety of these freezer meals by Gardein. They have the skillet ones and then these bowls and uh, we just microwave them. Now so, let me tell you, I am so hungry. Well, good, because we have so many things to try out. So let's try the Italian sausage and pasta bowl first. Close up here. Made with cavatappi pasta and Gardein meatless sausage in a rich marinara sauce. Now read it like this. Cavatappi. Made with cavatappi pasta and Gardein meatless sausage in a rich marinara sauce. 16 grams of protein per serving and it just took f five minutes to microwave. I guess we should try it at the same time. I believe they do sell these Italian sausages separately as well now. Mm -hmm. They do. They're pretty good. Very salty. Mm -hmm. So salty. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just pasta and their sausage and sauce. Mm-hmm. They're perfect. There's nothing Gardein makes that I don't really like mm -hmm. so far. That's good. Need some uh, need some red pepper. Mm. Need some cheese. Oh, it really is salty. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's super basic. It is convenient, but... Unless you're in a big hurry, I don't see why you wouldn't just save money and it would definitely be cheaper to just make the pasta yourself by a cheap yeah. jar of marinara and heat up the sausages. But it's it is good. good. Yeah, yeah, if you're like on a lunch hour or something from work and want to pick up something really quick that's right. vegan friendly and tasty, go for it. This one's definitely going to be not as good. <laughs> okay. Wait, no. Let me just lick it off. You don't want to Precious calories. Next, we're going to try the Gardein Teriyaki Chicken Bowl. Also ready in five minutes in the microwave. This is rice, garden meatless chicken, broccoli, red bell peppers, carrots, and a sweet teriyaki sauce. Can I give it a little stir? Is that fine? Go for it. I know you want to photograph it, but I just want to make sure mm -hmm. their sauce abound. We are big fans of the garden chicken strips. We buy them pretty frequently. This already reminds me of um, those TV dinners you'd get. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The like goopy sauce. Yeah. And it tastes exactly like that. Mm-hmm. Again, it is good. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Again, it's d definitely fine and delicious. Just a convenient option, but... It's just a vegan version of like a Stouffer's thing. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Which is, I mean... Did you eat a lot of frozen TV dinners growing up? I'm remember. I'm realizing now that I think I... We you did eat a... Not like every night. I didn't eat them often, but it's weird with me. I really looked forward to getting frozen meals. Mm. Like I, I really, good. I really love the Marie Callender's like frozen pot pies. That was like my special mm. treat. I never had those. No, mm -hmm. mm. and you never will. Good. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It's all salt and sugar. So how can it not be good? Yeah. Like that's why they're popular. It's they're very, cheap and they're good. very sugary. The sauce. Again, I mean, if you're just trying to have a convenient meal, this is a good option. But you can put in a little bit of effort once a week and, and like meal prep, meal prep it. Just a batch of rice. Yeah. Throw in some frozen veggies and some of these uh, chicken strips. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here right. to judge that, and it's pretty dang good, and it's not even 300 calories. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't repurchase them, though. Well, we wouldn't because, you know, we which cook. One, which one do you like better? This one. I agree. Yeah. The sausage is I really take another good. Bite. Go for it. Moving on. Moving on to Sprouts brand stuff. Mm -hmm. We have the Sprouts orange chicken. Our orange. <laughs> I would say uh, uh, orange. Orange chicken. I'm from New York. I say orange, apparently. <laughs> orange chicken and Kung Pao chicken. Um, these are both 360 calories, and they both have a metric crap ton of sugar. Of course. Yes. Uh, There's so, a couple of other different flavors as well at Sprouts. I think they just like release this line of vegan-friendly options. Right. Oh, yeah, and it's also not fried rice. It's um, fried riced cauliflower and quinoa. Mm-hmm. So a little healthier in that regard. And these are all available for two for $7. So it's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of quinoa and fried rice in here. Do you want to try orange chicken first? Orange chicken. Okay. I will say it needs to be stirred. The uh, sauce is very gelatinous. The sauce to chicken ratio is... 
disturbing. I also want to see what this chicken is made of. It's, it's, I believe it's soy. Do you want to get some riced cauliflower and quinoa in the bite? Oh yeah, these are soy nuggets. So it's not... It smells amazing. It's not gluten. Ugh. Okay. It looks like it's gefilte fish. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of um, Panda Express. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are four nuggets in there and there's, there's just like... A bunch of sauce. Extra sauce. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's not that unhealthy if you don't eat all the extra sauce. But you will. We're gonna mix it in. No, you that. will. I won't. Yeah, you will. You wanna try some? I'm gonna mix it in there. Try some of the quinoa and fried riced cauliflower. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's quinoa. It's fine. Yeah, if you like, it's not fried rice, but it's definitely good. It tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. It's a, count, a healthy counterpoint to the uh, copious sauce. To the sauce. Snickers bar sitting in the other portion of the Tupperware. Mm -hmm. The chicken is not breaded and fried either. It's just mm. a soy nugget, but it, it's a really good texture. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. Really okay. Good. Yeah. Shall we try the Kung Pao? We has shall. the same quinoa and rice cauliflower side. Same gelatinous texture. Mm -hmm. You feel the fish. Are there any vegetables in here? I feel I like there should be. I don't think there are. Oh, golly. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That tastes like takeout. Very vinegary. Mm -hmm. Well, while you were heating these up, I was looking at the ingredients, and mm -hmm. it's all like soy sauce, scallions, rice vinegar, bell peppers, all these spices. That's why it's good. It's They're made with, like, yeah, I'm like, ooh, they're really sugary, blah, 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 mm -hmm. which is true, but they're also made with a bunch of real stuff, which is, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. The sauce is pretty good. Could be a little spicier, in my opinion, for Kung Pao. Also, yeah. doesn't have peanuts or water chestnuts in it, I which think I think Kung Pao usually does. I think it's just hard for these companies to make stuff that have like, it, it might be too spicy. It mm -hmm. might be people don't like people are allergic to peanuts. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just like hard to put the normal stuff in or else it's not as accessible for all customers. Mm -hmm. So final verdict on these. I think I'd be more likely to repurchase these than the Gardein ones. I think they're pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. They're not the healthiest, but I think they're really good. In between eating these things and like heating them up, I keep getting like, Hungry again? Yeah. It keeps like sa satiating me a little and then I'm getting hungry again. And it leaves you wanting more. We just took a little break to uh, heat up the next batch of things. We knew it was very important that we were trying everything properly warmed because I feel like in the past we've tried things and we heat them all up all at once. And other people who do taste tests on YouTube get yeah get flashed Shame for that for it. also. So rest assured that we are eating everything hot. Don't you worry. Next batch of things, a little bit more posh. These are by the Sweet Earth brand. We're gonna try their cauliflower mac. Now, somebody uh, actually DM'd me when I posted about these on my Instagram story and said this is kind of disgusting. It smells good. Yeah, so mm. I, I'm eager to try this one. And then we're also gonna be trying their vegan pad thai. These are a little bit pricier. They cost $5 a piece. Pretty sizable portions. And hopefully better. This Want to try first? the mac first? Yeah. This is vegan cauliflower cream sauce, sweet potatoes, and pasta. It smells good. It does smell good. There's like a little bit of a breadcrumb, like faux parmesan topping as well. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything. Okay. Oh, I see what they mean. Mm-hmm. What's that tangy thing? Tangy? Mm-hmm. I can see how this would gross some people out. This reminds me, it's not your typical mac and cheese sauce flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not cheddar. This reminds me of like a white mac and cheese you can get at like a restaurant. Yeah, that's it's, fine. It's interesting. It smells better than it tastes. It's not very salty either. I feel like it would be better with a little bit of salt. Yeah, or just like Frank's hot sauce. Hmm, interesting. It's not offensive, it's fine. There's a funkiness to it though. Yeah, there are koji spores in there. What does that mean? Wait, co is that the right word? Yeah, koji spores. What's koji? I don't know. It's part of the it's part of the miso, the chickpea miso. Oh, there's chickpea miso in here. Mm -hmm. That's the. Um, is that the tang? Or the weird. I don't find it to be tangy. Mm. The miso is probably what makes it umami. Maybe it's just that, yeah. All right. Well, would you repurchase this? Um. Mm, no. 
Probably not. Me neither. I'd rather just get a less healthy mac and cheese. No, like the Daya one or the Annie's one. Yeah. We buy those pretty frequently. Okay, let's try their pad thai. No, we don't. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Made with organic carrots, mushrooms, and rice noodles. Oh, both of these boast five superfoods, <laughs> which are just vegetables, apparently. Yeah. I would say these are a little bit healthier overall, Here. which is consistent with the Sweet Earth brand, I think. I, there's a lot of color in this. I'm mm -hmm. kind of impressed just looking at it. Very, Can't really very get bloody. anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. There's some firm tofu in there that has a nice texture. I feel like it, I do want it to be saltier. I need sriracha. I like the array of vegetables. Right? It's a, Good job. I would say a little bland, maybe. Really? What do you think? Hmm. Weirdly enough, this is the one I was least excited about, but this might be my favorite so far. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel super he heavy after eating it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's good. I swear it tastes like there's pineapple in this or something. What's wrong with me? No. Who knows? The okay. doctors can't figure it out. As much as I like this, Trader Joe's also has a frozen vegan pad mm -hmm. thai, which I think I prefer, but it's good. Trader Joe's is the goat store. Mm -hmm. So that would make sense. All right, next up. I know you're gonna be excited for these. Oh, are they already hot? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Amy. Got some good old Amy's brand frozen meals. So why don't you introduce this one? All right, this, first we got Amy's vegan chili mac and cheese. I think this is pr this is new. With a Z. It smells like the Amy's chili in a can, um, mm -hmm. which is what it is, specifically. Right. Um, Tell yeah. us more. Made with organic rice pasta, tomatoes, and beans. Oh, is it gluten-free? It is. Wow, it smells really good. It does have a little bit of a gluey texture though, from mm -hmm. what I'm seeing. If you tried their their rice mac and cheese, it looks like that. It's good. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. Something about the texture's off though. Yeah. The way that it looks gluey, it feels gluey too. The cheese is kind of gluey. Mm -hmm. I think the bean juice is kind of gluey too. And combined. It's not a deal breaker. I would still love to eat this. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I it tastes like, of course, it tastes like they're canned their canned bean chili and their frozen mac and cheese just combined. Mm -hmm. And I like both of those things. Salty. Mm -hmm. It's a little smoky. Next we've got their light in sodium veggie loaf with mashed potatoes and vegetables. This has been around for a long time. Has and it? I'm honestly shocked that I've yet to try it. I've gotten requests pretty frequently to um, review this and yep. here we are, finally. It looks, it looks like a TV dinner. Yeah, this is like the most classic mm -hmm. TV dinner, the mashed potatoes, like the frozen vegetables. Yeah. And then the meatloaf. I used to love like the Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes frozen mm -hmm. dinners. You know what quality this has that makes it look like a TV dinner? The carton? No, there's just one overarching <laughs> adjective to describe it and it's sad. I knew you were gonna say that too. It looks sad. <laughs> Which means it's probably gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Okay, Do you wanna try everything separately? Yeah. Here, I can okay. cut you a little bite. So, okay. Ooh, it is it is loafy. There's a nice little gravy. Loafus. I wanna see what this loaf is made out of. It smells like a veggie burger, which are not my favorite. The loaf slice is made from a blend of legumes and organic vegetables and covered mm. with a tomato-based gravy. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mm. -mm. It tastes, it tastes like a veggie burger. Mmm. It's like a homemade veggie burger gone wrong. It's not awful. Try some taters. I'm still swallowing. It's so mushy. These are good. They're just potatoes. No, they're not. What do you mean? There's no f flavor in those whatsoever. Those have even less flavor than potatoes. Like if you just ate a baked potato, it would have more flavor than this. It's like they added water to their baked potatoes to make it taste less flavorful. I mean, I guess it is marketed as light in sodium. That's true. But why? One must wonder even why. The, even the vegetables are gross, try it. Well, they're frozen vegetables. Yeah, but I've had frozen peas and corn. Mm, that's my favorite part. Yeah, because they, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well. If you like, if you like veggie burgers, not like, 
Beyond Burgers or Impossible Burgers. Like Bean Burgers. Like, yeah, the veggie, veggie burgers. You'll probably like this. Give me, like, a Gardein steak in there. Didn't Gardein used to make a meatloaf? Mm -hmm. Did they? Wow. I want more of this glue. This is going to sit in my stomach it. for seven years. Great. Looking forward to that. <laughs> no, see, this is like a veggie burger that you put too much flour into. So it's like mm. slightly like, again, gluey texture. Yeah. I wanted this to be good, man. I wanted to reconnect with my childhood love of I'm sorry. Maybe frozen Salisbury steak. So uh, I would guess that you would repurchase this, but not this one. Cool. Yeah, I'd buy I, I'd buy this one if I if I had to. If you were in dire straits. Yes. If I left you. Yes. No. If, and took all of the cookware. If I if I, if I wanted this, I would buy Daya Mac and I would buy their can of uh, DIY. bean chili and just. Poop them together. Okay. For our final round, we have two items by this Starlight Cuisine brand, which I have only seen at Sprouts, I believe. Maybe Whole Foods has some. They actually have a pretty wide variety of vegan-friendly snacks and appetizers, things like that. Mm. And I've just never tried anything by them because, I don't know, they don't get a lot of social media love. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's not a very glamorous brand, but... Yeah. Um, we've got some corn tortilla beef style taquitos and some enchiladas de queso. So we actually, because there are eight of these in a box and I bought these the other day, we actually had a couple as a snack, but we had them with salsa and vegan sour cream, the mm. Simple Truth Organic sour cream. Uh, so this is going to be the first time we're trying them alone. Yeah. So you want to do that? Yeah. We air fried these. Everything else we microwave, but these are air fried to crisp them. They smell so authentic. Mm-hmm. Hot. Mm-hmm. So good though. Mm-hmm. They are. Mm-hmm. They're a little too tortilla and not enough filling. Right. But they're so good. Mm-hmm. This is just a soy protein beef style with spices. Can you hear that? Our dog is a big drinker. He doesn't just drink a little water like throughout the day. He'll go hours without drinking water and like running around outside and eating a, a treat and then he'll drink his entire bowl and then wait hours again. And then he'll beg for a vegan taquito. I think if you gave this to someone who's not vegan just because there's not enough filling Yeah. to notice. They Can I open this? Yeah, go ahead. I would feel comfortable heating up a plate of these and bringing them to like a Super Bowl party with people who aren't vegan. With my family? You mean yeah. In a, in a week? Yeah. No. They're good. Yeah, I like them. I, th I think they just need more filling. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure the filling's believable enough because when you get a frozen beef taquito, it's not like it's like mm -hmm. Kobe beef in there. Just right. a bunch of shredded cow. That being said, I do think it is really good when you add the... Vegan sour cream and salsa. Next uh, and last, we are trying the non-dairy enchiladas. All natural white corn tortillas, creamy pinto beans, and vegan cheese with traditional red sauce and vegan cheese. From what I can tell from the, inst uh, not the instructions, the ingredients, they didn't partner with any sort of like vegan cheese brand. It's not data yeah, in there. It's their own vegan cheese. Proprietary blend. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a try. It looks good. I, I did used to love enchiladas. The plain cheese ones. <laughs> what? What is funny? It kind of smells like a locker room. I can't say I've ever been in a men's locker room. Like good. women's locker rooms tend to smell like Bath and Body Works. Is that, is that true? Uh-huh. That's insane. Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> Buddy, you can't just walk through things. You have to go around things. Melvin. You fool. All right, we're recentering. There was a bit of a camera snafu. <laughs> now stay away from the tripod, okay? Can you take a little sit? Sit. Oh my God. Buddy. <laughs> he doesn't care at all about his surroundings. I think it's fine though, right? <sighs> Melvin, you're testing me, boy. I'll give you a treat Good later. boy, you stay. You stay there. All right, let's okay. eat these Wait. freaking enchiladas <laughs> before he ruins the shot again. Okay. I feel like if we take it too close to the edge, there won't be any... He's on the run, people! Cheese. I'm gonna get it from the middle. Okay. Okay. I got the end, but I took a lot, so... Mmm! Mmm! Mmm. It doesn't taste like anything. 
Let me go deeper in. That is kind of true, isn't it? Again, it could use a little more salt, I think. I don't get any bean. I'm mostly getting cheese and tortilla. Mm-mm. No me gusta. I like it. It's not that great, though, but I like it. I, I don't taste beans. I don't taste anything except for tomatoes. Mm. A little tortilla of sorts. Actually, I taste like a weird olive flavor. Are there olives in here? There are olives on the on the packaging. Here. <clears throat> yes. Filling pinto beans, water, onion, olive. I taste olives. Like a little strong on the olive olives. there. Yeah. That's really all I taste. I mean, it's not bad, That's but it doesn't, taste. it doesn't, I don't know. We could just make better ones. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the taquitos are definitely a better product mm -hmm. by them. Right. It doesn't, you're right, it doesn't taste like much. Well, thanks for joining us for today's taste tests. If you have tried any of these things and have differing opinions, leave a comment down below. There are also quite a few uh, other things that we didn't get to cover in this video. Well, maybe we'll make a part two if you'd like that. Also let us know. Let us know if there are any things that you specifically want us to try out next time or any other categories as well for taste tests. What are you gonna eat when we're done filming this? <sighs> mm. Which one was your favorite? I don't know. Chili Mac? Too gluey. Teriyaki chicken bowl? You like the pad thai. Give me your thoughts. Nothing. Nothing? None of them were truly good enough to buy again. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. I agree. But, you know, they're microwave dinners. That's what you get. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll see you in the next video. If you want more of us, we also have a podcast. So we'll have that link down below. See you soon. Bye.